welcome back to AWE TV. With me is Ines Lubion, industrial designer with Huami. Ines, you have a presentation here at uh, AWE called Designing Wearables. Um, I need an education on wearables, um, so I hope to get that out of this conversation. Um, but uh, talk to me about Huami. Um, there's a relationship there with Xiaomi. Yeah. Um, and you're wearing both uh, versions of what you've designed, so uh, tell us about what that relationship is and how we got All to right. these two products. So for so we are an independent company, we're called Huami, okay. we're based here uh, in uh, Mountain View and we also have multiple offices in China. Okay. So we develop our own brand, um, so we have different brands, but the main one is Amazfit right now, and we also develop products for Xiaomi, uh, okay. including the Mi Band. The Mi Band. So Mi Band yeah. is Xiaomi, Amazfit, Huami. Yes, but, but you, we you do design. everything on those products, like applications, uh, physical objects. We find the factories, uh, we produce them, and then Xiaomi uh, actually sell the product under their own brand. Okay. And then that includes the application for the mobile device for that so to communicate. So we, we have this, yeah. So we develop that, the application. Both of these products are very uh, have distinguishing features. Uh, look very different from each other. Um, what's what's the difference? I'm interested in a wearable. Why would I look for one over the other? I would say the Mi Band is more simple product. So it's the first one we launched. Um, it's a thirteen dollar band. So it's a, a very affordable, a very simple. It can count uh, steps. You can have distances. Can know sleep tracking and also heart rate monitoring. Okay. On this one, you have pretty much the same functions. Uh, the difference is that it's more uh, it's more for fashion conscious users. Okay. So you can actually change the band. Uh, there are different styles, and um, yeah, it, it's more integrated into people's lives. Yeah, I guess there's there's one thing I here's the part I need the education on, is, and it's maybe where the market of wearables is heading, or, or, or how, how do wearable companies um, treat uh, the, the more fashion, fashion conscious? Is, are they considered kind of the, the early adopters, so you feel like, uh, tell me where do they fit in the equation here? Because I've, I've noticed wearables that I may personally not wear, maybe not yet, maybe in the future. Yeah. Um, but where do they fit in the equation of, of designing and you doing your job? So when we started with this Mi Band product, um, the idea was really to get something to the market, something very simple. Mm -hmm. And then we realized that maybe it would not fit everyone and every occasion. So we designed something that would more be more integrated into uh, people's lives. So for example, you go for dinner, sure. maybe you don't want to wear a rubber band with your suit. So, um, you're you're, you're a, pointing you, to the Mi. Okay. <laughs> or or I, I, so, when you said rubber band, I thought <laughs> that one. So, yeah, rubber band so maybe okay. it's better if you can have something more sophisticated more okay. that match your look yeah so, um, so these are the types of things that uh, wearable companies have to consider or are considering yes. right it's more like integrating uh, the, the wearable inside like, into people's life okay uh, it's really make it a part of their life and so it doesn't stand out so yeah it doesn't stand out and at the same time you know it's there uh, still tracking everything like the step or Distances, but um, yeah. So it's, it's, it's still working. It's yeah. Really integrated. Yeah, because I, I can imagine with this, you know, with this jacket, with this shirt, I'd yeah. go with the more fashion conscious, not the pink one, not my favorite <laughs> color, not my color. I love pink. But but for you that would work. Uh, cool. Yeah, I'd, uh, wearables are a bigger part of AWE uh, this year, so yeah. um, I'm, we're trying to bring on more wearable uh, influencers. Um, so. Thanks for that education. Uh, what about AWE this year that, that excites you? What's, what are you interested in seeing here? Um, I really love seeing um, like the entire environment. That's really interesting to see mm -hmm. the decision people take and what, why they design this kind of products uh, and how it's integrated uh, into people's life and what they think about it. Yeah. I think it's really interesting. In particular, I would say maybe uh, the, the VR environment right now okay. is something that can be interesting. Um, and, and how does that relate to, I mean, because you said VR environment, to me, that's a head mounted display with a screen, um, but the wearables I'm seeing on your wrist are, you know, wearables that are fitness trackers. Yes. Uh, where do you see those two communicating to each other, sharing information, or? That, that, that could be, uh, that could be a, a good thing to do, but um, right now we, we don't know yet. 
just looking at, at what's happening around here. Okay. I still, yeah, I found that really interesting and pretty exciting. Is that part of your job then? I mean, being an industrial designer, you kind of have to kind of help design the future, right? Yeah. Um, so do you come to conferences like this to uh, explore more or? Also look at what, what other people are doing for okay. sure. I always, yeah. Found Reconnaissance. That very it's, it's very good. Yeah. It's very good to look at yeah, what people are doing, where they are going, where they are heading to. And uh, even, yeah, in the wearable field too, uh, there are some really nice uh, things here. What have you seen that, that I, I excites saw, you? I saw a very, very nice uh, wristband that can control uh, some objects. Okay. So when you move the wrist, like move the object. Oh, it's got an IMU in there? In, yeah, in yeah the it's actually controlling a toy. It's, it was moving, yeah, very okay. interesting. What else? What else? Um, <laughs> I tried one of those headsets to uh, um, kind of like launch a, a rocket. So you think very deep oh. about something and it's launching a rocket. Uh, uh, so NeuroSky thing maybe? Um, you... it, it's not this one, it's okay. uh, another brand. Yeah. Okay. This, this, kind of, this kind of thing. Cool. Um, since it's pretty magical. Yeah, as long, if you can concentrate, you can make anything happen. Um, so wearables, a bigger part of AWE. Where, where is, how has wearables changed in the last year, do you think? Because you, you, you're um, looking at these things all the time. Yeah, it's becoming smaller. It's becoming a Devices. lot smaller. Yeah. And yeah, a lot more integrated, which, okay. which is um, good to see. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of yeah, also fashion initiatives. Uh, people really trying to integrate that. And I think that's the main Technology is integrated into the product and into people's life. Not just fashion, so it looks cooler it, or hipper, but yeah, uh, it actually makes people life easier. Okay. Uh, for example, on this product, we have uh, a partnership with an air conditioner company. Okay. So when you enter the room, the air conditioner turns on. When you leave, it turns off. This kind of thing is very simple, but that uh, could be. How does it know? The, a the AC has to have a specific sensor to communicate yes, to that. Yeah. Bluetooth or. Yeah. So you enter, yeah, it's yeah. just detects that you're here. That's kind of nice, right? Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> I think it's good and yeah, I think we're gonna do a lot more ideas like that. Yeah, uh, speaking of that, what can we expect out of Huami in the next year? Um, I think we're gonna still continue doing sport and fitness. Um, like sport and fitness is our main thing, so now we're gonna continue and improve this. Uh, maybe also healthcare, some uh, nice solutions with heart rate. Okay. Um, and yeah, maybe other stuff. Maybe. Healthcare beyond what it currently does. Yes. Yes. So yeah, because we have the data, so we know what people can are doing, what they like doing, yeah. uh, and we can actually build on that and make people's life better. So. Okay. An example of what that means make lives better like for example remind um, me to go running if it's been a week you haven't run or yes simply we're also investigating around the iot space so for example you're gonna just go running you don't need a key you just sure. go running and you go back to your house you don't need to have your key on the door like it's i think really august like, is a lock company yes. it recognizes so you're nearby like that you're here opens the door that kind of thing really integrated into the environment okay it's like yeah a discussion between the wristband and the environment. Yeah, that's very interesting. I it, it, how these things, you know, it, it's evolved from you know four times the size of this, a laptop to now yeah. tablets, mobile phones. Now we're wearing it. I talked to Dan Eisenhart from Intel. Um, he wants to get rid of his mobile phone and have smart glasses that look just like the glasses you and I are wearing yeah. now. Um, I mean, do you think it'll come to that point? If in the future, 15 years from now, we won't be having these, but wearables yeah. will be able to track everything for us. No, that, that could be, yeah, that could be a solution. Um, yeah. So we are investigating around that, like many companies are. So yeah. it really depends on who is going to get the, the best solution. Yeah. The most efficient one. So. But down the road, I, I asked about next year, but even like further down, what's possible like with with all the components, all the hardware, software will just evolve, of course. But everything will get smaller. I mean, yeah. what what can we, what do you think we can expect 15 years? And I know that this is fantasy. 15 years. Is yeah, well, down the road. It's really the future. Um, yeah, we, we I, th I think we can expect to have like some maybe some smart clothes uh, or 
Yeah, some, I think yeah, smart clothes is the best. Smart clothes. That, yeah, yeah. yeah. Smart suit or something like that. Yeah. So everything really integrated inside your what you're wearing every day, so that you don't have to even think about it. Yeah. I think that is the most most awesome thing. Okay. Well, maybe we'll get we'll get closer. I think. Um, what is it? Uh, Google ATAP is working yes. on some of that. Soli, yeah. Jacquard. Yes. That's what I'm saying. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. We'll see how close we get right. next year. Great. Thanks for joining us. My name is Mark Pizer. This is AWE TV. And joining me was Ines Leblanc. Right. <laughs> yeah, thank right. you. Thanks. Bye-bye.